Hey everyone, it's Luke here from LT Gaming, and welcome back to you LT Gamers. Today, we're back with Star Trek Bridge Commander Remastered, and we have a special sneak preview of a ship that will appear in Remastered 1.3. And the Starship class that I'm talking about is of course the California, which was a light support cruiser made popular by the show Lower Decks. I think it's an absolutely exceptional model and that's where the credit needs to come in. Part of the requirement of me getting early access to this ship was the fact that I gave a proper credit, so here we go. I need to ensure that the Star Trek Fleet Command team are credited for the model along with Brian, I think also known as that guy Brian, Von Frank who did the HP scripting, and MSR1701 who tweaked this version for 1.2. I also want to make this really clear that the California class is not available publicly at this time and will come with Remastered 1.3, so I'm very grateful to the guys for giving me an early sneak peek at this awesome little ship. So with a number of exciting battles to come, make sure to like, comment and subscribe, especially if you're new here, we really appreciate that interaction and we have a huge pipeline of content on the way. Both me and Tom really appreciate it. Just a quick note, when I recorded these battles, I did it in the wrong format on OBS, and in post-production, I had to scale it so it was on the whole screen. Now we lost a little bit of the UI on the right-hand side. I'll make sure that doesn't happen again, but it doesn't really affect the battles, and I didn't want to re-record them because they were actually really fun. So there we go, just a quick note. So first up today is the Klingon Bird of Prey. We'll see how we get on against this great little ship. I love playing as the Bird of Prey, as many of you know. We're going to see how we get on. Engage. Okay, standard protocol, weapons and shields up. Let's target the Bird of Prey. Now, I do know that the California class is a little weak, so this should be interesting. It's going to depend on a couple of factors, mainly if my torpedoes can do enough damage in the opening salvo. So here we go. I need all of those to hit, or we're going to have a few problems. All right, here we go. Let's uh, come back around. We're damaging the Bird of Prey, which is excellent. I'm very pleased with that. But I'm going to need torpedoes fairly soon, as she cloaks. Right. Okay, let's uh, wait for her to uncloak. We'll zoom out a little bit. I really enjoy playing in Poseidon. It's a great system. It looks really, really cool. Where is she? There we go. Not too far away. Okay, I need to come around. So now I have torpedoes. I need to do some damage. But I need to turn quicker. I should have lowered my speed. Here we go. Let's hope these hit. They did. Awesome. There we go. The workhorse of the fleet. Great little ship. Shows her power by taking out a Klingon bird of prey. That's actually very impressive, I have to say. That's awesome. Really enjoyed that one. Well, I don't think we are, so uh, you need to get your eyes checked there. But uh, yeah, that was awesome. That was really, really cool. We took the bird of prey out fairly easily. Took a little bit of shield damage, a little bit of hull damage, but less than I expected. So absolutely delighted with that performance from the California class. Awesome ship model. So beautiful. The guys have done a wonderful job. Right, on to the next one. Okay, for the second battle, we're going to take on a Klingon heavy cruiser, a D6 from the 23rd century. Our ship is from the 24th century, so I would expect us to win. It'll be an interesting battle nonetheless. The Klingon cruisers were often used as transport ships as well, so nice little side fact for you there. Right, let's jump in. Engage. Battle stations. Everything to maximum. I think this will depend upon the initial salvo of our photon torpedoes. Maybe we can do some dodging of our own. We can. Very inaccurate there. Let's give her the front photon torpedoes of the California class. They did the damage I expected them to do, which is excellent. That cruiser is obviously not really in our class because she's quite old. What's she going to do? Just sit there like a derelict? Let's uh, come around behind her and let's hope for... Some photon torpedoes pretty quickly. I think another nice win for the California class, but maybe I'm flattering her slightly here. Okay, very bad accuracy for me. I maybe should have led the target a little bit there. 
I tend to think that helps with accuracy. Maybe that's just the way I play, but the D6 is not going down easy here. I could target some subsystems, but uh, I don't know if that's really necessary for this battle. I love playing as the Klingons in Star Trek Infinite. Really enjoying that game, even though it's been pretty heavily criticised. I find it very relaxing. Yes, it's very slow, but it, I find it a very relaxing game overall. Wow, only one torpedo strike there, and we're taking a bit of damage. This is some terrible flying by me. Stop talking and actually take the cruiser out. Okay, let's get around behind her. That might be better for us. That's some that's some better flying. If we can get torpedoes now, that would be ideal. Oh wow, okay. Can we get them now? Anytime soon? This is so close. Okay, we actually took the win. Let's get away from the explosion. Simulated enemy ship has been destroyed. That actually should have been a lot easier, but I made the mistake of missing with my torpedoes on two salvos. That's pretty poor. But anyway, the D6 is dispatched. Now we're going to take on something a bit more in the same league as the California class. But once again, beautiful model. Adds a lot to the remastered mod, and I can't wait for 1.3. Okay, so battle number three, we're going to take on something a little bit more in our class, and that is the Centaur. Of course, it comes from Star Trek Resurgence, so we're having a little bit of Resurgence versus lower decks here. We'll see how we get on, but I do think that we will be outmatched in this battle, but we'll see how we go. Let's go deep space and engage. Okay, I know that we are significantly outgunned. She has rear and front torpedoes. We only have front torpedoes, so some luck will be needed. I'm not sure my flying is good enough, and we need to have four torpedo strikes here to have any chance of winning. Wow, we didn't dodge any ourselves. Oh, we did some damage. That's pretty impressive. Now, if I can try and avoid her rear torpedoes, which I probably won't be able to do, but yeah, here we go. She's going to try and hit them here. Oh, she absolutely smashed me but that's fine we'll stay at her rear so that we don't get hit by any more and she has to reload it'll be very nice to get some of our own right now okay here we go let's lead the target slightly one four strikes but no significant damage so at the moment she leads us the ship from star trek resurgence also a very cool looking ship very similar to this ship but a bit more powerful in that regard. Unless I can fly really well and stay behind her. Which was actually a mistake because she had torpedoes. I forgot. I don't think it's going to happen for us. We've taken far too much damage. Okay, let's fire. Oh, she turned there. Oh. Well, we did some damage, but it's not going to happen for us. And we are destroyed. That was pretty cool, though. We did a little bit more damage than I thought we would do, but it's time to end that simulation. It didn't go well. Right, on to the next one. Let's do another one. Okay, we're going to have a bit of fun with this one. We're going to try and take out an Orion pirate. I mainly took these on in Starfleet Command. I'm not sure what your experience is against them, but I have no idea what's going to happen. Not a battle that I've recently fought, so let's see how the California class does against the Orion pirates. Engage. Red alert, battle stations, the Orion pirates are inbound. Now I know that this Orion pirate ship has some strange weapons on it. And it's a very, very close contest. So we'll see. All I know is we definitely need our torpedoes to hit. And we need to try and dodge some of these Orion weapons because they're devastating to shields. Now we got quite lucky there, I will say. We did a good bit of damage. Let's probably let's keep our distance. Let's reverse because if I can stay facing her front, I can do a lot of torpedo damage as her shields have dropped. But we are a bit of a sitting duck like this. But looks like the pirates want to go head to head. Give me torpedoes now. Here we go. Oh, we did a little bit of damage, but she has some very strong weapons. I think I'm going to move here. I think the pirates may be on the California class here. 
Oh wow, we took massive damage. That is unpleasant. In reality, we would probably retreat right now. But I think we should do a fleet battle. Orion Pirates versus a little California class fleet. That would be awesome. But we are outgunned here. Where did she go? Oh wow, okay, straight on us. Turn, turn, we need to turn. Torpedo tracking was a bit odd there. you think it would fire like straight ahead, but it kind of went out to the side and missed. We have lost phasers across most of the ship. Things are not good for us. The pirates are too strong for the California class. I think they have too many different weapon types. It's just insane. I don't know what half those weapons are doing damage-wise. I'm like literally a sitting duck right now. Now I've got torpedoes, so maybe they can do something, but she's pretty strong. Here we go. Let's hope that we get a lucky hit or something. Well, we definitely did some damage, but not quite enough, I don't think. It's very, very close. Is this winnable? I think so. But I really would need to probably have some luck and maybe target some systems. Right now, it's very difficult because I have no... No phaser arrays left. Wow, I'm very lucky I dodged that. That was insane. Maybe if I get torpedoes soon, there's a chance. Okay, I've got them. Let's come around. I'm going to slow down and try and turn. But I really am going to need a lucky hit here. And I'll need these torpedoes to actually fire straight, which would be nice. Okay, we got four hits, but not quite enough. Wow, that hit. That was devastating. Took my shields completely out. Super close battle. Okay, she cloaked. That might give me a chance. No, it didn't because I wanted my torpedoes to reload. That would have been ideal. Well, I think she's a little bit below that, so we definitely got that wrong. She's less than 50%. Right, I've got torpedoes. Let's go. Come on. Oh, not enough damage. Not enough damage. Wow, this is close. These are two evenly matched ships. Now, when she uncloaks, she's probably going to do a ton of damage to me. If only she'd spent a little bit longer uncloaked, I could have had torpedoes. We're waiting. We're waiting. We need them. Ah, oh, so close. That is a really evenly matched battle, but a huge amount of fun. I really enjoyed it. Do I think that's winnable? Probably yes. If I got one more torpedo strike, I probably could have won. But yeah, as you can see, the California class is not very powerful, but she's a really fun ship to play battles with in the lower end of the spectrum. And I think that's sometimes just as fun as playing the really powerful or even the god tier ships. I think sometimes they get a little bit too overpowered and that gets boring. But anyway, guys, a sneak peek at what's going to be in Remastered 1.3. Super exciting stuff, and I can't wait for Von Frank to give me news on the mod. But anyway, as always, like, comment, and subscribe. I've been Luke from LT Gaming, and I'll catch you on the next one.